Hey there, this is James Wilson with MTV Stream Training Systems and BikeJames.com. Today I want to share some advanced push-up techniques. Push-up is one of the most common bodyweight exercises, but most people tend to take it to a certain level and then stop working on it. When there are actually some advanced techniques that will help you get more tension and more strength out of each rep of the push-up. So the first thing that you want to do is focus on screwing your palms into the ground. Now let me show you what I mean by that. Now when I get down to the ground and get my hands set in a good strong push-up position, now instead of sitting here passively, what I'm going to do is screw my palms into the ground. And you can see when I do that, it actually results in my elbow screwing in and my shoulder also screws up into the socket, gets nice and secure. Now I'm going to have to let off of that as I come down, but I'm still trying to maintain you know, that thought screwing the palms in, and then as I push into the ground, I'm going to screw those palms into the ground and come back up to that nice strong position. So keeping them screwing in as I come down and then screwing them back in nice and tight as I come back up. So what's going to happen when I do that is it's going to just get the shoulder joint more secure, get the upper back activated better, and it's just a stronger, more stable position for the upper body to be in to be pressing from. So you're going to be activating more muscles and you're also going to be generating more tension and teaching your body how to create more tension with that movement pattern. And it's a real helpful skill on the, trail, on the trail as well because once you get that down you can think about screwing your palms into your handlebars and get that same effect of getting the upper body, the shoulders and the upper back nice and stable you know, before you go into a rock garden or something like that where you need to be a little, little more stronger, a little more stable. So the next tip is thinking about squeezing your thighs together in order to get more activation out of the core. So if you're familiar with the RKC plank this is one of the, uh, the things that they teach you with that uh, specific plank, but now we're just applying it to the push-up. So what you want to do is imagine you have like a, a ball or an egg or a lemon or something like that between your thighs, and you want to squeeze your thighs together like you're trying to squeeze that together. Now you're going to feel your glutes fire, but this is different than just squeezing your glutes. So you want to focus on squeezing the thighs together and let whatever re reflexively gets tight to support that get tight. So again, applying that to your push-up, getting set, I'm going to screw those palms into the ground, I'm going to squeeze those thighs together, and we're going to keep those two things going on as we execute our push-up, nice and strong. So if I don't do that, if I'm not squeezing the thighs together, if I'm not being active with my palms, you know, I've still got a good push-up because I understand the form, but you can see the difference in the tension that's being generated by thinking about screwing the palms in and squeezing the thighs together. So, so there you go, two tips to help you get a little bit more out of your push-ups once you've got the basic thing down. Uh, once again, it's been James Wilson with MTV Strength Training Systems. You can check me out on the web at bikejames.com. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter so you can get more tips like this. And I'll talk to you next time.